On top of that, more laser welding, stiffer attachment points for the front subframe and new welded attachment points for the rear axle add up to a 15% increase in torsional stiffness. Ford suspension engineers have also been through the suspension system. The front track is 30 mm wider, the rear wider by 10 mm and the wheelbase has crept up just 4 mm. There are new hollow front anti-roll bars and redesigned mounts for the rear axle and the lower front control arms. The bigger axle mounts are designed to filter out road imperfections and friction in the steering system is said to have been reduced. What's it like? Like the previous Fiesta, but with an admirable extra level of polish. The ST-Line X we drove is powered by the 138 bhp version of Ford's excellent 1.0-liter turbo triple. Although this engine has just 15 pounds foot more torque than the 99 bhp and 123 bhp versions, the extra horsepower is noticeable as you push the engine to 6000 revolutions per minute. Even when rung out, it remains surprisingly civilized. It's hardly neck snapping, but the motor is capable of propelling the Fiesta through some impressive overtaking maneuvers. Top marks, too for the newly honed shift action of the six-speed gearbox. It's extremely impressive. Short action, swift and clean, it helps enormously where rapid downshifts are needed when, say, entering a bend and the engine needs to be kept on the boil. Great work on the accelerator response as well. It takes the lightest tickle to keep the engine revs up, allowing easy down changes, essential with a small engine like this. According to the Fiesta chassis engineers, the ST-Line chassis has been tuned to sit halfway between the baby luxury of the Vignal model and the hardcore appeal of the upcoming street and that's exactly how it feels. The ST-Line feels briskly capable, but it still rides with impressive fluidity, soaking up poor surfaces and allows just enough body roll to stay on the comfortable side of sporting. The increased grip is felt on long, sweeping corners as is the impressive control of understeer. The latter, the engineers assured me, was partly thanks to the individual front wheel braking of the Fiesta's torque vectoring system which is completely imperceptible, 